forgive me, uh, the door was open. Oh, what do you want? Was that Dr. Warwick? Yeah. I didn't realize that you were still treating him. Oh, I'm not. Oh. Uh, Stephanie, um, I'm really pressed for time. I've got a lot of work. Actually, I had some interesting news about Brooke. Well, you'll have to forgive me, Stephanie, but Brooke is the last person I care to think about right now. I'd keep an open mind if I were you. Why? What happened? I had a conversation with her at the office. What about? Her love life. And I think I got through to her. And if I did, you're not going to have to worry about her anymore. Did I hear you correctly? You actually approached Brooke about her love life? Well, yes, yeah, someone had to. I mean, it's long overdue. Really? What did you say to her? I told her that it's it's just a waste of time. Her life is going by waiting for Ridge. Well, you delivered that little message before. Yes, I guess I have, about a thousand times. So what was different about it today? Well, you know, I think... I tried to appeal to her ego. I did say the truth, though. I told her, I said, you know, you're a beautiful woman. And there are hundreds, thousands of intelligent, attractive, available men. I hope I made the point that, uh, you know, waiting to grow old and gray, waiting for Ridge, is losing its charm. You know, she has a healthy sexual appetite. I'm, well, I, I think she'll start dating again. I think it would be great if Brooke would start dating. Yes, if she could find a man, it certainly would take her mind off of Ridge, wouldn't it? I'd even be willing to play matchmaker if I thought it would do any good. Know anybody that's eligible? No, not right offhand. What about Dr. Warwick? That might be an interesting match. Brooke and James Warwick? Disaster. Why? He's single and attractive, and her background is chemistry. Uh, Stephanie, no, no. Believe me, they're all wrong for each other. Frankly, I couldn't do that to James. Incompatible, you think? They are as different as night and day. Well, I mean, opposites attract. Besides, when I talked to James earlier, he told me he was seeing someone tonight. He called it a date. Oh. I guess we'll never know then whether they would have hit it off or not. <laughs>